What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So today I want to talk about uh, Brittany Griner. So she is a WNBA star, and uh, she's in Russia right now. Now, she's been in Russia this whole time. She was detained last month because uh, what they're saying, this is what Russia is saying. They're saying that she had a vape, I guess, a vape pin, and it had some hashish oil uh, in the pin, or they found some cartridges, some hashish oil oil cartridges. And so that is against the law in Russia. So what I want to talk about today is what what do we think is going to happen when it comes to this whole situation? And will Britney be used as a pawn for what's going on in Ukraine right now and the, the involvement that the U.S. has right now with helping out Ukraine? Will she be used as a pawn? Will they try to uh, figure something out as far as they're not going to release her until the U.S. stops giving Ukraine weapons or giving Ukraine aid. So that's what we're going to talk about today. But first off on this channel, we talk about financial news and what's going on in Washington, D.C. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification. That way you get notified anytime we put out a video. OK, so the first thing I want to do is I actually want to show you the video. Uh, so this is some uh, surveillance video. And what I find interesting, just right off the right off the bat, and if you guys don't know, I do have law enforcement uh, background. I, I just retired. Now I, I've never had a canine on my own. Um, you know, I've never supervised with a canine. But uh, the the dog here does not hit on her bag. If you if you check it out here. Now this is her going through the uh, checkpoint. Now it's interesting. You can see the dog did not alert to her bag. So just look at the beginning there. Handler brings a dog, dog doesn't alert. And so now that doesn't mean much. I mean, basically in a situation like this, a dog doesn't alert, okay, she puts it through the conveyor belt, they see something in the conveyor belt and now they want to investigate further. And so that's what probably happened in that situation. Uh, and then you see him there going through her bags and uh, I guess they opened up one of the bags and it had this uh, oil that the uh, that the Russians are saying w was in her bag. And so that's that's what we're looking at right now when it comes to this whole situation. And very, very unfortunate uh, that, that, she, that she's in this situation. But one thing I always tell people, uh, anytime you, you're going to travel, and I travel a lot, uh, make sure you know the laws in that country. Because it might be okay for you to have hashish oil in the U.S., but if you're in another country, it could be a totally different situation. Uh, so you need to make sure that you know what the laws are. Now, these are all allegations. We don't know the facts yet. So we don't know if Russia's being completely honest with us. And I think at this point, with all the stuff that's going on, I could see Russia kind of playing something up. They see a celebrity. Obviously, she's a basketball player. She's 6'9". Uh, and so they saw her and said, hey, you, we can use this uh, to our advantage when it comes to this this war in Ukraine. Uh, that's very unfortunate if this is what's happening, but it could potentially happen where they use her as a pawn because now they know they have a celebrity. They can kind of talk to the U.S. and say, hey, look, we will release her, but you need to stop sending aid to Ukraine. You need to stop uh, sending uh, weapons to Ukraine. And so this could be a, a, a plan that Russia has. So we're just going to have to follow the whole story and see where it goes. But very, very unfortunate uh, to see something like this. And and the, the, the craziest part about it, and the, the thing that, that I think is really interesting, is that this happened in February. This happened in February, but we're just finding out about it now. And I, I, I think that's that in itself is, is very, very strange that we're finding out about it. Let's say it happened late February, and we're finding out about it a week later. Uh, so... We'll have to see how they handle this whole situation. The State Department's obviously involved when it comes down to it, uh, but they can't do much. Now, the State Department, they can they can give you information for legal representation, but uh, there's not much that they can do when it comes to a situation like this. Uh, the State Department has already indicated, look, do not travel to Russia. And if you're in Russia, leave Russia now because it's not safe for Americans to be in Russia at this point. Uh, based on all the stuff that's going on. I should also note now looking at the, the video, I looked at it again. I've looked at it a few different times. Uh, the first off, uh, the first thing when I was talking about the canine handler and the dog not alerting to the bag, uh, generally a dog will, they'll give you some type of an indication whether the dog will sit or, or, or something to let the handler know, hey, there's something, something wrong here. And then the dog is going to wait for the toy because that's basically what the dog is doing. It's, it's playing a game. Uh, so if, if the dog 
alerts if the dog finds something and alerts to it the dog will get the toy so the dog's going to sit and wait for that toy and you don't see the dog do any of that you see the uh, the canine handler go to one bag to to uh, Brittany's bag and then go to to the next bag and so that's why i think that there was no alert uh, the dog didn't alert uh, another thing if you notice when they start going through the bags uh, going through the bags, there's, there's another shot of them going through the bags and, and pulling out the different packages. That is a different bag. So what leads that leads me to believe that she might not have actually had it on her. It might have been in her luggage, her her, her checked luggage. And so that's something else that's interesting uh, to put out there because if it wasn't on her personally and it was in a bag that, that she checked, obviously the, the chain of, of, of custody is gone. Now she's, she puts the bag... Uh, in the in the check luggage, anyone could have had access to that bag. So that's just something else uh, to to note when it comes down to this whole situation. I just wanted to mention that, and we should also point out this is not the U.S. So all the things that I'm saying here, these are things that I'm seeing. But it doesn't matter. In in another country, they handle things the way that they want to handle things. So uh, just because I'm saying, hey, this doesn't look right or that doesn't look right, it doesn't mean that in Russia they're going to say, well, yeah, this doesn't look right. This doesn't look right. They can do what they want uh, in their country when it comes to their judicial system. And as of today, Russia has not been able to take control of Kiev, the capital city. And you still have uh, politicians from parliament. They're still putting out uh, messages. And you still have President Zelensky putting out press conferences. And so when it comes down to it, the Ukrainians are still fighting. And uh, this is this is one of those things. This might be a long, drawn-out war. I mean, at, at this point, uh, they, they've, they've been able to tackle some of these smaller these smaller towns, smaller cities in Ukraine, but when it comes to the larger cities, and I would think that since Kiev is the capital city, most of the Ukrainian military has surrounded uh, Kiev, and, and they're going to protect that with everything that they have. And so I'll keep you posted with any further updates when it comes to the situation, but I mainly wanted to talk about this Brittany Griner case, uh, so we'll have to see what happens next. Uh, best case scenario, obviously, is they release her and she's able to go home. Uh, but worst case scenario, if they do prosecute her, she could be facing 10 years, up to 10 years, between five and 10 years uh, in prison. So really, really bad situation. I want to know what you guys think about this. So let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.